I'll bang the drums loudly and blow the brass horn and shout to the world, I'm so glad you were born. A precious line from a new children's book by our guest. You probably recognize the South Carolina native who helps us wake up every day on Fox and Friends, Miss Ainsley Earhart. Congratulations and it's so good to have you with us. It's so good to be with you, Layla. We're all in the Fox family and I am just so thrilled to be coming to Charleston. You'll be working with me at that event and we're just gonna have a lot of fun, but thank you you for having me on to talk about this book. We're so happy to have you. Congratulations on the book titled, I'm So Glad You Were Born. Uh, why did you decide to write this book? So I wrote my first two children's books based on some scriptures and letters and sayings that my dad would leave next to our cereal bowl every day. And I was pregnant for the first book and had the baby during the second book. And so those books were really an honor to in honor of my father. This book is something that my mother loves that phrase. I'm so glad you were born on our birthdays. Mm -hmm. And it's, you'll hear it in the South. You don't hear it here in New York. And so mm -hmm. the first time when I was anchoring Fox and Friends, Steve Ducey, it was his birthday, my co-anchor. And I said, I'm so glad you were born. Oh. And he kind of, you know, stepped back and he thought about it. And I said, I know it sounds corny, but just think about that. Yeah. I said, my mom said it to us as children. You'll hear that in the South, but I'm so glad you were born. This is a very special day. And so his wife texted him in the middle of the show, you know, after years and years of hearing me say that on people's birthdays. And she said, this needs to be your next children's book. And then, uh, you know, my daughter's six and a half now. And I thought, what a great title for her, because yes. we do bang the drums loudly. We have this is my apartment in New York City, and this is a, a painting by my cousin who lives in Charleston oh. of, um, you know, the the um, the swamp and the um, the low country. And oh, I yes. just wanted a, a scene like this. So I That's reserved beautiful. that spot until she finished the painting. But anyway, um, I wanted my daughter to always feel like she's loved and she's celebrated. And we have in this apartment, we have uh, dance parties. And so the front cover of the book is this, and this is one of our dance parties. And she loves that picture. But um, a lot of the illustrations in the book are references to things that we do as a family. And we bring out this big Tupperware container full of instruments and we just have fun. That and is so I sweet. House, thank you. But I want this house to be an oasis. Yeah. I want her to know she's loved, that she's going to make a huge difference in the lives of so many people as she just uh, waltzes through these years. And I want to be right next to her and witness it all. But I also want to guide her and help show her the love of Christ and show her um, the difference she can make and why she was created. And this is a love letter to your daughter Hayden, um, which yeah. and she's so lucky to have a, a wonderful mother such as yourself. But mm -hmm. in this day and age, particularly, I think that message, I'm so glad you were born, resonates through the hearts of so many people and many of the people who are watching this right now. Well, thank you. I was interviewing Tim Tebow one time yes. and I said, what did your mom teach you? Because he has a very close relationship with his mom. And he said, she always told us when we were going to school, make a difference in the life of someone at your school. And so that's, I said, I'm going to use that. Why haven't I ever thought to say that to my daughter? So we have a conversation when I pick her up from school. What did you do today to make a difference in someone's life? Oh. And I think if we go through life like that, it's not about us. It's about serving other people, right. helping other people, honoring other people, and showing love to the people who need it most. And you know what? I saw another interview, speaking of Tim Tebow, is he used the word purpose. When people know that they have a purpose in this world, then that gives them a sense of belonging and, and a sense of importance and a reason to be here. And I think those words and the message resonates through the pages of your book. And I realize it's made for children four to eight, but I have to say when I was reading it myself, it, it warmed my heart because to think that someone wishes that for me or thinks that way about myself, it gives me a new sense of purpose. Yes, I love that. And The Purpose Driven Life, it was a number one bestseller for so long because yes. people are searching for purpose. And even if, think about your happiest friend or your happiest self, we're, st we're still walking through this life and we still have ups and downs and we still kind of think, is this it? And I know it's not, my faith is strong and I know where I'm going after this life. But right now my purpose is to serve Christ and to serve other people and be the best mother to Hayden that I can be. And I know 
that God put me in this role at Fox for only one reason, because mm. Fox has always allowed me to talk about my faith. Yes. And I know that God is honoring me with that and that he wants me in this position. There's so many people that are so good at our jobs, you know, yeah. that 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 are that fit at Fox and Friends probably even better than I do. But I know God put me there and created me at a young age to love him and to serve him and to know him so that I could work in this environment in New York City and also talk about Christ on air. And but so I think that's a very humble thing to say about yourself because you truly are fantastic. And and you make oh. the, the team, the family that people wake up with every morning on Fox and Friends. Well, thank you. And I'll tell you, being from South Carolina, we love it when we hear stories like yours, Layla, mm. that you moved here from California and you chose the beaches of South Carolina. You actually are, you're in God's country. And you know, the people. You're seeing what are, isn't it the best place? It's yes. a great place to raise a family. I'm so thankful. You know, I always wanted to be in New York City when I was little. And now I look back on that and I say, thank you, God, for yeah. giving me a heart in the South and for raising me in the South, because right. that created these values. And um, just we were in church every Sunday. And I just love the people of South Carolina and Charleston and Columbia, where I grew up in Spartanburg, where I was born. My heart's always there and I come back so much, but I'm so glad that you love South Carolina. Absolutely and I do. And, love you. and I also have to mention, I love the illustrations in your book by Kim Barnes. They're so colorful and also with such an array of, of people on the cover representing everyone, which I think is so warming, so wonderful. That's right. So in our house, we are teaching my child to love everybody. Everyone is God's child. God created us all to look differently, to be different. We all grew up in different socioeconomic situations yeah. or just different environments. We are all his children and he created each of us and knit us together perfectly and wonderfully. We're each wonderfully made. Excellent. And so I loved the illustrations when, when Kim Barnes sent them to me, you can see this. I mean, little girls and little boys of all different colors of all different situations right. you have a little boy in a wheelchair um you know just all different different walks of life and i love that and um and my daughter will look through the pages and say oh this looks like my friend at school and that's me and this is my best that's friend right. and this that's is the right. little girl and so it's just a really uh, cute demonstration of what heaven's going to look like it's, it's hopeful and it's beautiful and and this isn't goodbye this is a, a see you soon because you are going to be here in charleston what? which is what? so exciting i'm so glad that you're going to be here with us we're going to have a conversation at the charleston museum and fox 24 has a ticket and book giveaway so if you just go to our website foxcharleston.com contest you can enter to win and i'm really excited to see you in person this Thank you for doing this. That means so much to me. And when you write your book, I'll do it for Thank you. Thank okay? you. All right. But well, first you. I can't wait to be on stage with you and to talk to the audience and yes. just hug or meet and shake hands or just welcome all these South Carolina You're, you're going to be there all day. <laughs> I, I can't wait. I'm ready. So Friday, September 30th. Be there. We can't wait. And God bless. It's so wonderful to see you, Ainsley. Thank, Thank you. you. So if you want to get tickets to that event, you can go to Ainsley E books.com. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You. Congratulations You're again. Welcome. Thanks so much. We're God back. bless you. God bless you too. We're back after this.